the first enemy of success is success. Now, one of the things I always tell my friends, which I have gotten some new people now, is this, that between two mountains of success, there's a value of failure. If you're ever on top here, you're coming down here next. Whether you like it or yes, it is automatic. After here, you're going up. There is nobody that has stayed up. Now, when you go up, it's hard work. Now, when you get here, complacency sets in. Once complacency sets in, you don't know. Before, you had maybe one million. You can manage that one million. 800,000, you can manage. 400, you can manage. You will now begin to live on past glory. On past, yes. The, yes. You get that before. I can do it again. But meanwhile, all your energy has dissipated. So you gradually start going down. When you go down, the problem is that to climb up the next hill, you don't know how steep it is. So to climb up is more difficult. Yes. So what, the only way to move from one mountain to another mountain is to build a bridge. Yeah? And what is a bridge? A bridge is people. Now, if you want results in three months, plant corn. If you want results, because in three months you plant the corn, the corn will come out. Instant business. If you want result in one year, plant yam. Yeah. Yam, you can harvest it, boil some, roast some, cook some. But if you want result of a lifetime, plant men. 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 People. Men. So you deliberately have to grow men. Deliberately. Not as an assumption for different things. Because when you become weak here, these people are the ones that will carry you. First Samuel chapter 22, verse 1 to 2. David escaped into the camp of Abdullah and then from his father's house, uh, who were in debt, distressed, and discontented. He became their captain. There were 400 of them. So these men were in debt, distressed, and discontented. He built these men. And First Chronicles chapter 11, verse 10, he says, And these were the mighty men of David who came to stand with David. The same men with, with him in Abdullah. To complicate matters, he said, I wish I could drink from the well of Bethlehem. And three men broke down the guards and went. These were the men he had trained. He had gotten to the point whereby they are taking his wife and taking his children. These men wanted to stone him because he had built them up. Now, if not because he had good leadership skill, it would have, it would have been in a big mess at that point in time. So for him to become king, he needed to build mighty men. You don't eat alone. You don't eat alone. So what did I do? Now looking at this, I went back to Genesis. Genesis chapter 1, when God finished the Garden of Eden, 29 verse chapter 1, 29, he says, and he told unto Adam, I've given you everything for me. But he gave him restrictions. He said, guy, don't touch this one, but this one you can throw. So there was profit sharing. Now when you don't, when you don't share profit with your staff, they become your next competition. They become your next competition. So, like me, when I knew that I was building men, everybody that has worked with me, my group managing director is 42 years old as of now. The guy was, in short, he became a graduate while we were in the office. And I, my, my office was, my bedroom was my office, his dining table was his office. Approval was done by Yahoo Messenger. That's how we used to do approvals at those days. Now, his wife, is an architect, she works in ATO Consulting, she was a junior director. Right now, that boy has grown. So what did I do? Because I have trained him well enough. So I decided to plan my continuity, my, my legacy plan. And what did I do? I built him a house in Abuja, a duplex in Abuja. I gave him a car, and I also gave him 10% share of a subsidiary. And I did to all the senior managers the same thing. Where do they want to go? I needed to have a meeting with every, all the teams. So at like 7 o'clock, I'm in Lagos for a meeting at Ikeja by 8.39. I'm at the airport flying to Abuja. Yes, I land 12 o'clock Abuja. I do my meeting by 1 o'clock. Finish by 2 on my way. I'm going to Joss. I'm sleeping in Joss that night. When I finish in Joss, the next morning, I drive to Kari. The team in Meduguri pick me up at Kari. We have our meeting in Maiduguri, 8 p.m. that night. Next morning, I'm off to Kano. Finish in Kano, 2 o'clock, I'm on a flight down to Lagos. Enter Lagos, turn around to Portacourt. Sleep in Portacourt that night. Finish Portacourt, then drive to Wari. Go to Wari, then from Wari, go to Ibadan. Ibadan. What was Come your back to pay Lagos. like? My pay? Mm -hmm. 
I did, I did not live for pay, I was living for experience. My pay was less than 150k. I said, remember, my father was killed. So passion had eaten me up. I had been disowned. So these were people that loved me. Yes. Yes. So yeah. now this now yeah. became, yeah. 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 yeah, it had now become my own family. I was disowned. Yes. So this was yeah. where the people that accepted me. It was when UBA now wanted, was merging with STB, they now said they were looking for a new CSO. So I was headhunted to come down. I had learned a lot from a lot of people, a lot of companies. It was at this time that I needed to take that decision. What was that decision? I said it is either I get a new job or I go and start a company. That the only way the parachute would come out was to take the risk. Now, everything I had learned, I had learned passion from Pahek Security Company, working there at night. I had learned technology from Alarm Center. I had learned business in halogen security. And I also learned corporate governance from Excel. So I learned all the things I needed to learn. It was not left for me to practice it. So I now said, okay, the first thing I needed to do was, okay, to decide what would be my target. Because it is my target that determines my direction my direction will determine my association. So my target at this point was, if I was going to make any sense in anything I'm doing, I needed to put a target to myself. So I wrote with my hand, 100 million Naira as my target. Yeah? So I wrote 100 million Naira and I put it on the wall. Now our bed at that point in time was on the floor, so, and I always used to face the wall. So I put it at home. Yes, at home. So I put it and I faced the wall, 100, 100 million naira. I put it on my ceiling, 100 million naira. I put it on this wall, 100 million naira. I put it here. So everywhere I turned my eyes, everywhere, my bathroom, my toilet, but in my immediate environment, all my wristwatches, everything was within 100 million naira. An alarm is set on my phone every 30 minutes. So once I hear it, it automatically reminds me. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy side. Thou shalt meditate upon it day and night to observe to do according to all that is written there, where thou shalt have. If thou shalt meditate, thou shalt have. Now, so my, pro my thing there is that I now started thinking about 100 million. Now, anybody that comes with 10,000, 2,000, 100,000 naira business does not work. So now that, that now made me to look, okay, what kind of business does not work? Does not work? If you bring a business of 100,000 naira to me, don't come near me. It's a waste of executive time. Uh, yes. I won't listen to you. Yes. Yeah, see, your, yes. You see? You see? No, see. Even apart from that, even apart from that, thank God that I even spent some time. There are two things that are necessary for me to change. One was my target. And that target was 100 million. And no time? No, there was time. Now, my time was one year. Wow. No time now. Yes. One so, year yes. So, if I'm going to do this kind of target, then everything has to change. And every minute now, counts. Yes. So, this one determines my direction, and this one determines my association. So, if you are not in that Which line. Which one determines your association? My direction. Okay. Yes. My direction is. Yes. yes. So when I said I wanted a hundred million, I only walked around the people I needed yes. to get the hundred million. Yes. Your next hundred million could be sitting here. Yes. That's all. Yes. Every time I go out on security operations, the people we arrest or we have to encounter are young people. Okay. Now, from the statistics, Nigeria, 70% of our population are youth under 45. Okay. Now, when 75%. they... 75%. Yes. Now, the challenge is that people don't know what that number is. So let us assume from the old census report, there is 180 million people. So 75% are 135 million people are under 45. Now, the report from the Presidential Committee on Job Creation says 40% of these people cannot be employed. That means 62 0.5 million people cannot be employed because they don't have skill. No skill. Yeah, they are unemployable. Yes, unemployable. That is where the justification of Nigerian youth are lazy comes from. But, and you know, for me, one of the things, I learned every success principle I have from the Bible. Huh? 
And the Bible says that the, the castle is uh, protected, but there's a spider in the bedroom. So what I do is that I try to get to your bedroom. So if I know that you are 20, through social media, I will attack you. There's even said also that there's a, the, 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 the lizard will enter, that there's a guard at the gate. So from there, what I do is I'm able to pass the back and get to your sons and begin to change their mindsets from this early. So now, that changed the way I thought, the way I do things. So, okay, now, while they are getting it, so this were my target. I know everybody has smartphones, so how do I get to them now? So I now said, okay, the easiest way to get is on IG, Instagram, Facebook, um, uh, Twitter. Now, Snapchat, I'm not a fan of Snapchat. Yes, so, Snapchat, uh, uh, you do Snapchat, yes, you see, that's a demography. So what I did was to put this and also WhatsApp. So, yes, so what I did now is that I set up a social media team. Hmm? And this social media team is head, I have a content unit, I have a media unit, I have a distribution unit. So once pictures, videos are taken, he has video, will we'll take the video and then we'll send it up here. And then content will add the content and they send it to distribution. On that distribution, there are different groups. So that, I now get the social media team and I put them on that group. So I have like, on that one group, I have like 10. I have on that 10. So once in the content is prepared, in the morning, it is sent to these groups. So by nine o'clock, everybody knows that you have to post. Once it is nine o'clock, once that thing is dropped in the in the in the content in the mother event, um, um, sites, like the Ubon King Foundation, everybody screen grabs from there and send. So in one hour, you will have one hundred and fifty thousand people seeing that post at that time. So when you open your phone, you just see it run down. Ubon King, Ubon King, Ubon King, Ubon King, Ubon King, register. And it takes at least seven impressions before somebody takes a decision. Yes, you may not have known me today. You have seen here, you hear, you hear, you hear. So well, I just need I just need one. And it's just knowing you today is, is good enough. <laughs> Remember, you cannot grow beyond your imagination. Our problem is not our location. Our problem is our thinking. I refuse to be poor. I refuse to be second class citizen. I refuse to be intimidated. It is what you agree you have. If you can think enough, what you have is more than enough. Be fruitful, multiply, replenish, and subdue. Build this whole earth. Pain is the down payment for gain. If you are still satisfied in that face, may I start to out, so be it. Prepare for disruption. Pincation is loading. How hungry are you? Come on! Why can't you unleash the bullet? I can't! Stop! I can't say I'm who! Pincation 2020. Bigger and better. Do not be left out.